Hi there! Today I'd like to take you through my Someday Maybe section in my autumn planner slash journal. Just to recap for those of you who have seen my videos before uh, and you know as a quick crash course <laughs> um, on you know what I'm about. I have made sort of a traveler's notebook but instead of a cover I have two notebooks as my cover, I guess. I mean, they they double as covers and actual inserts. And in the middle, I have two inserts on strings. So these are glued, the books are glued to a spine, a cardboard spine with fabric on it. And then I have elastics in the middle. To hold these two inserts. And the inserts are someday maybe lists for work and for home and also permanent information. So things that tend to, you know, the things that you migrate from book to book when you're bullet journaling, the things, you know, you want to keep for a long time. Long-term planning and just um, things like telephone numbers and stuff. So the first book, this one, is for daily planning, it's for project spreads, calendar uh, spreads and weeklies and next actions for half a year. The book at the back is only for journaling and, you know, creative writing, sketching, stuff like that. So I've made some colourful backgrounds here to inspire me. Uh, but the thing I want to talk to you about today is the home someday maybe insert, which is this one, the gold one. And I'd just like to take you through, you know, what I've got in it. The first thing I have, these tabs represent the 12 months of the year from January to December. So I write the things that you know, are the same year after year. The reminders and birthdays and stuff we need to do in each month. So for example, in January, uh, shovel the, the balcony because it, it, it's full of snow <laughs> and it can get sort of um, damaged from that so we need to shovel that snow. February to March, I haven't put anything yet but I probably will. April, change to summer tires, do taxes, stuff like that. You know, things that you just need reminders for every year. Um, May, plant flowers, uh, that kind of thing. Um, Ideas for summer things in June and July, you know, things we want to do, uh, things we want to eat, like fermented herring in August, that's very important. September, start taking our vitamin D because it's a month with an R in it, which means, you know, the sun is too weak in Sweden and we need to start taking supplements. Uh, buy candles for autumn, stuff like that. Things you need to remember. Uh, preparations for winter and uh, Christmas and here in December I haven't written anything yet but I have a, a Christmas list things we like to eat on Christmas um, so we remember from year to year so that's sort of the first thing seasonal reminders then I have <laughs> this, I mean I can't show you anything here because I don't know who is watching and these are present ideas gift ideas so I have a full page of ideas for my husband and then I have other people here and general like gifts that you can give anyone just good ideas then I have a list of people that we don't want to forget <laughs> you know people we want to keep uh, in contact with and invite for dinner and just have on our radar and I know that sounds like do you need really need a list of your friends well sort of I'm an INTP okay I need lists for 
all those social things so I don't forget. And I have a couple of addresses here. Um, paperwork and money. And I should say each of these areas has its own tab. So that's how I navigate to the page. Uh, paperwork and money. I have permanent inf information here like salaries, uh, passport, expiration dates, stuff like that. And more transitory projects to do with paperwork and money here. Uh, shopping lists. This is a sort of permanent shopping list. Things that we need to buy again and again, like lamps and uh, henna for my hair and um, sun cream, things like that. You know, that you buy again and again and again. And when you go to the to the store, you can check this list to see if there's anything of anything from this list that you need to put in your basket. And then a list of things, you know, that that you only buy one time, but you know, they're on the back burner, so someday maybe list for shopping. Like for example, uh bookcases or a handbag or yeah. Then uh, a list of food that we like, because sometimes uh, when you don't know what to eat, you need to jog your memory. So this is a list of things we like that we want to eat again and again. And here are someday maybe stuff, uh, or is someday maybe stuff, um, like things to try, things to buy from specific people, like local producers, um, yeah. And the same thing with uh, wine and spirits, you know, cocktails we like, uh, you know, you want to remember. Um, if someone asks you, what do you want? I can go here and I can say, I love whiskey sour. So thank you. Um, and this is a spread for travel and, um, and pff, events, I guess, things to do, fun things. This is a list of things to pack and the first column that's for things that I always need and these are more optional for longer trips or specific types of trips like if I'm stay staying over at a hotel or staying three days or a week. You know. um, and here are travel destination ideas places we'd like to go. And a couple of tips. Um, drink a lot of water two days before the trip and then don't drink a lot during the trip because you don't want to, you know, run to the bathroom on the plane or whatever. Uh, travel in off-shoulder dresses and tops because, you know, if you, you're sweating a lot because you're running for a train, it you can sort of, um, well, it's more... <laughs> It's practical, okay. Um, bring one change of clothes and buy new stuff. And this is for a car. Uh, a permanent list for things that we need to replace, like there should always be a roll of toilet paper in, in the car. Um, uh, something to eat, you know, like snacks, uh, and these things um, run out. So I check this list to see if there's anything I need to replenish in the car. And this list is for things that need to be fixed, like one-time things. Um, you know, if, if there's something wrong with the car or something we want to do to it. Um, cleaning. This is a list that I've sort of filched from Fly Lady. Um, ideas or, or just uh, zones and things you need to do that pertain to cleaning. So I, I um, look at this list when I prepare my monthly booklet and my tracker and um, like this month for example I I picked the things I wanted to do during July, put them here, and then I put as many boxes 
as, you know, the, the number of times I want to do it. So for example, I only want to dust one time during the whole month, but I want to hoover four times. Um, and I want to wash the dishes every day. So, but this is just a reminder list of stuff you need to do because again, I'm an INTP, I don't see these things. I need verbal nudges. And this is, I've started a list of tips. Um, just good, good advice when it comes to cleaning. Uh, interior decoration and sort of fixing, like uh, if things are broken and we need to fix them, they go on this list. Um, ideas for like um, minor touch-ups, um, I don't know, paintings we might like to put in a specific room, like small things, because it's different from the renovation list, which is you know, bigger things like wallpapering a room and painting and stuff like that. Then we come to the cabin pages, which take up six, well, three spreads, six pages. So I have a permanent list for things we need to bring when we go to the cabin. I have a checklist for when we leave home and when we get there so that we don't forget like the keys or uh, to fill up petrol, <laughs> things like that. Um, and things, when we get there, we always boil a pot of potatoes so that we have cold potatoes during the time that we're, we're there. Um, we make ice uh, and take out ashes from the stove, stuff like that. Then we have a renovation list for our cabin as well, which is kind of long and minor stuff to fix. And also sort of more creative projects in the cabin that has its own list. And this is the crafting spread. Excuse me while I drink some water because it's so hot. Uh, crafting. So I have a list for things like mindless things to do when I watch TV or just need something to do with my hands while I'm talking to people or something. Like things that you, uh, mass making, like cutting out images, um, sewing signatures for books, things like that, that I do again and again and again. And this page is, again, you know, permanent info on, on the left and one time, someday maybe stuff on the right page. So these are just ideas for what I might like to do when it comes to crafting. Like a Renaissance journal. Oh, I really want to do that one. Um, drawing and painting. Here is, uh, I've started a list of tips, things to do, ideas. And I also have my Derwent Inktense pencils that I have made swatches of to know what the colors look like. And I think I'm going to put my acrylics here as well because, well, for one, it looks so nice <laughs> and also it's uh, practical. Then I have photography and filming ideas for what, I, you know, photos I'd like to take, um, films I'd like to make, and writing. This page is for tips and advice, and this is for specific things I'd like to do to my stories, ideas, um, and so on. Same thing with music, but the left page is for listening, things I wanna check out. Um, different kinds of music bands, um, classical pieces. And on the right, I've got ideas for songs and things I'd like to record. Um, yeah. 
This is a spread for TV and film, things we'd like to watch. I've only just had this idea to have this kind of spread, so uh, <laughs> there's not a lot on it. But anytime I get a tip or see a trailer or something um, of a film or a TV series I'd like to watch, I put it here. Clothes. Um, I have my permanent list on the left with my style and tips, um, like general things to keep in mind when I shop for clothes. Like, I don't like any other colors than red, black, uh, purple and pink, so don't even look at anything else because it won't fit with the rest of my wardrobe. Um, when it comes to patterns, I like tartan and stripes and no pattern. Nothing else. Well, polka dots. Uh, on the fence about that one, but it can work. Um, yeah, so, so just reminders so I don't buy, you know, on sale things that I won't use. And here are just, um, on the right, uh, one-time things I need to do, like sew my ghost patches onto my bag. I bought them three years ago and I haven't done anything with them yet. Dogs, yes. Uh, we'd like to uh, buy a couple of dogs at some time, at some point in our lives. And I thought I'd make a list of advice and you know, information on different breeds and stuff. And I also have an, a, a list of names, <laughs> name ideas. We want to have two dogs so they can keep it up, each other company. And that's such a fertile ground for giving them funny names when you have two, like Chinook and Amarillo. Uh, and those two are only funny in Swedish, so I'm sorry. Health stuff, um, permanent information like, uh, for example, contact information to my physiotherapist, uh, things I need to do again and again, like um, get my prescriptions for stuff, uh, just reminders. And then one-time one things on the right, like I might want to do this, I might want to check my ear for this wacky thing in there. Um, that goes on the right. Then I have lots of pages with exercises. First my knee exercises, hip exercises, my back exercise program. And then social media. <laughs> We're nearing the end, I promise. Uh, I haven't put anything here yet because, I don't know, I forgot. But this is a page for YouTube ideas, blogging ideas, stuff like that. Then we're going to planner plans, like ideas for these things. Like when I start using this, after a couple of weeks, I will think, I don't like this, I will change it up. I will make my own junk journal and use that instead. And then that idea will go on. Planner plans spread. I also keep an, a trigger list for the, the GTD. This is sort of the official PDF. Um, that you can get from the website, David Allen's website. So when you do brain dump, I prefer to call it a brain dump. You can, this is a trigger list to help you remember stuff that's on your mind or things you shouldn't let slip through the cracks. Then I have a final spread here that I'm not going to show you because it's full of, um, What's a word? Passwords. I don't put my actual passwords. I only put like clues to myself so I remember the passwords, but I still don't want to show them. Even though they're so personal to me that no one else can understand them, I still prefer not to showcase those clues to the internet. So, um, those are my home areas where I have things to do, things to remember, and as I said, this book will follow me through several setups, I hope, because I really, I, I've worked on this for two days now to make all the lists and the tabs and yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, I, I know I change my mind all the time and want to switch things up, but I hope it was not in vain, all that work. Hopefully someone had an idea, an epiphany while watching this, and if so, uh, you're welcome. <laughs>